Hey friends, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com. Today I am sharing with you 10 pros and cons of being a touring drummer. Over the past couple years, I have toured all around the world, so I've really learned about some of the great things about touring and some of the not so great things about touring. So with that said, I am going to take you on the road with me and guide you through all of the pros and cons. Let's do it. Pro is that you can get really good at setting up your drum kit and tuning it for a bunch of different room types. Con, you never get to jam out on your own kit. You're either in sound check playing the band songs or you're playing those songs live. So the extent of jamming on your own kit pretty much looks like this. is you get to practice things that you normally don't get to practice. So you normally just have a practice pad and you get to work on different sticking patterns that you normally wouldn't behind the drum kit. This generally happens because one, you are playing way more shows, which for me means you are playing a lot harder. When I perform, I tend to hit a lot harder because I'm trying to have more energy. And then also two, you are going through so many different environments. Your cymbals and drums are being packed up, going through really cold environments, really hot environments, then being hit really hard. So you're gonna just fly through gear a lot quicker, which can be a little bit expensive. Pro, networking. On the road, you get so many incredible opportunities to network because you are touring with other people and other bands. So as you get to become friends and develop some relationships with these other bands, you are therefore networking with them. So anytime you get to hang out after the show or go out to lunch with people in the other bands, you are naturally networking. You have people all around you in the industry. So it's easier than ever to make relationships with some of these incredible people that you tour with. A con is that there are many distractions on the road, such as video games, and it makes it really hard to get work done. Oh no! Oh! Come on now. Oh, it's over my head. Oh no! What? Oh no! No! Hot, fresh, so hot, so fresh, it's a goal. It's we a goal. did it! Oh, nuggets. Oh! What a goal. Why did my car change? Why did my Car change. This car sucks, dude. It hits the, it's so slow. Same dumb fing car. Why do I have a different car? Pro, you are more active than ever between going to the gym every day and having to walk to the gym every day, then walking to all your breakfast, lunch, and dinners, then setting up your drum kit, then going to sound check, then playing an entire show, which is pretty good cardio workout and then tearing down your drum set. You normally get around 10 to 12,000 steps alone on top of everything else. So being active is pretty great on the road, honestly. To be totally honest, a huge con is that you cannot poop on the bus. So most mornings look like this. right here. Oh no! So as you can see, not taking a crap on the bus can be a huge issue, especially if you really have to go, and God forbid, if you are driving in the middle of the night, then you just have to pray that there's something close, because it can get really tricky. Pro, you have the opportunity to develop some incredibly close relationships with your bandmates. 
These are people that you're going to see more than your friends and more than your family. So you have a very large opportunity to develop deep relationships with people because you're going to be stuck in a small van or bus or airplane with these people for extended periods of time. So you can either fight a lot, which would be a con. Thankfully, I don't have that one. Or you can share a lot of memories, traveling together, playing music together, laughing together, which in the long run can develop lifelong friendships. Give me a little pair of diddle. A pair of diddles, you got it. All right, this is what I call a diddle. And he wants two of them. He wants a pair of diddles, so. <laughs> pair of diddles. Pair of diddles, right there. Yeah. Dude, yes. Oh no, the distractions are back. I told you this is a very important con, the distractions of Rocket League. Pro, you get to share your passion on stage every single night. Whether you're playing in front of five people or 50,000 people, it's still the same. You get to play drums, which is what you love to do in front of brand new people. It's so fulfilling to take all of those years of hard work playing drums in your parents' basement and then getting to put it on stage and perform that in front of new people. Again, like I said, some shows go better than others, but the result is the same. You are sharing what you love to do with new people, which can be really, really fulfilling. Con, leaving your family and your friends can be incredibly difficult. For me, this is honestly the hardest part about being on the road. Being away from your wife or your husband or your parents or your siblings and all of your friends back home can honestly be draining. I notice that over the length of a tour, my energy slowly depletes and I think it's because I'm constantly missing all of the people in my regular everyday life. So trust me, once you are gone for extended periods of time, being back in your own bed and in your own home with the people that you love is one of the best feelings in the world. So to be away from that can be very difficult. Khan, this is your bedroom. Oh. Which, to be perfectly honest, is not that bad. I kind of like the cramped space. But what can be rough is sharing your small bedroom with 12 other sweaty men post-show. So, very crammed space with sweaty people sleeping at the same time. A con is that sometimes you can get stuck in some really awful places. What I mean by that is when you are playing a show in a city, you have really no say in where you are playing. So some cities might not have as much around, meaning food or nothing to do. So you might just kind of be stuck in an uncomfortable place for a little bit with no transportation really and if you're out of food on the bus then you are not eating lunch or dinner that night which can be unfortunate so then you're just left wandering around random alleys pro you get to see some incredible places all around the world. Getting new gig opportunities is the best way to see the world because you don't only get to travel with some really cool people and see new places, but you also have the opportunity to play drums in all these places. So instead of your average day being playing drums in your basement and then watching Netflix, it could be playing a show and then going and hanging out with some kangaroos, which trust me is incredible. Con, hygiene can be difficult. Dumb game for dumb kids. I look good for bombing, guys. You're wearing that shirt again, dude? Yes. <laughs> Oftentimes, this is going to be your shower. So I will defer back to footage from Warped Tour to show you what this proper sink shower looks like because it can be a process. You get tons of practice performing on stage. 
Every single time you get to step on stage is an opportunity to practice how you're going to perform. Are you going to try to play with a bunch of energy to fit the music that you're playing with? Or are you going to really try to stay in that pocket? You have a lot of different ways to practice how to play with a band every single night. So that can be really helpful to help you feel a lot more comfortable on stage over time and feel just more at ease when you are playing drums in front of people. So there you have it. Those are my 10 pros and cons of being a touring drummer. For those of you who have already toured, what are some of your pros and cons? And for those of you who have not toured, what do you think would be the best and or worst part about touring? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, head over to drumbeatsonline.com. I'll see you there. Bye guys.